Hello and welcome back to Let's Play 140k Inquisitor Martyr with another little sniper let's play I thought. Let us then go to port area and do a small hunt. I'm doing this mission because it's the only one which is blue except this um, priority mission. Is it a priority mission or is this, this premium mission? Let's do this premium mission, a rebel guard. It's a little bit easier, but it's a premium mission, which we are going to do right now, right here, in this next episode. Background, placeholder story campaign, mission, clear the entire area of hostiles to complete the mission, exterminate all enemies. Only corruption lies beyond the veil. There is nothing but suffering and death beneath the stars. Ah, yeah, so... Okay, here we can. Ah, okay, that was one of us. Okay, I didn't get that. Then let's then make this mission. And this should actually be a little bit easier than the mission we did in the last episode because it is going the because the challenge rate. If we can sort of it, alright, because the. You know, the power rating is just 30 and our power rating is at 50, uh, no, 59 or 60 even, I don't even have it in my head. So that should be, should actually be possible to kill all the attackers here. The only downside I see here with our, with our sniper rifle is that the reload time is quite high that I've noticed, which is not that good. And if you haven't seen the last episode, um, we have no, not anymore the the camouflage thing or the holo field. Yes, holo field it was. We oh, we have no. I think the t we can slow the time if I see it correctly because we have a new type of armor. The good thing is this is a premium mission. So it's I think it's you know it's a story mission obviously but the premium mission I think are like tarots. I think they have increased they have increased item output so that should be quite nice actually. Let's switch here, take them down. Oh nice. They exploded nicely. Where's the map? Here it is. Let's them down, down. The good thing is with the auto gun is, of course, that is, as you can see, it is pretty straightforward, and the reloading time is not even as high as the reloading time of our great sniper rifle. Then I'm gonna switch back to the sniper rifle, do an aimed shot on. Oh, to it correctly. So we have actually two Ogrins at which are trying to hunt us. That is not very nice of them. So I need to take another inoculator there. I didn't win where I wanted the risk of dying. That would have been very not so nice. I think the good thing is then he inside can actually dodge the enemy's bullets, that is quite nice, if we would be smart enough, so it's gone, but it's only him, let us, when we killed him, I'm gonna take a look at the ability, the knockback of course is amazing, it's self, alright, it goes on us, area effect, large surprise, slows down, all kinetic projectiles, enemy movement and attack speed by 80%, the agent movement speed is increased by 30% for the duration and all attacks are counted as surprise. So the good thing is you can actually evade shots there. So this is preferable I guess used with a auto gun and not with the sniper gun because you know with the aim shot here you are always trying, you know you need to stand and you can't actually get out of the way. So that's the only downside here. So I will quickly bring him down. Oh, he's a close combat attack, nice. Glorious carnage. I'm not hitting him. So that counts as cover for him as well. This is not so great. If you're wondering why I'm losing using the auto gun here. 
I actually, what I don't really like about the current equipped um, sniper rifle is that it, I think it's not as good as against, for example, infantry or against hordes. That is just what I think. So we only have perched half of the map, nearly not even. Hmm. That's not nice, but we will go on anyhow, any way right here. This one is going to fall. Complete me. Oh, the magazine wasn't enough there. I didn't know. You are not going to do your ritual. I will know. I think to. Oh, shoot. There didn't went as expected actually. Okay, we did. We did just bring it down at the right time, right time, but that was very close, I have to say. Closer than I actually wanted it to be. That one is down. And now we go right. I'm just using now the sniper rifle because. You know, some diversity in the gameplay always is nice, isn't it? Although I don't know why the normal shot is so slow. Then, aim shot here. Wow, nearly 1400 damage. That is so amazing. On there, of course, here you can see the power of AoE. What I always say with whether it's going to be a shotgun, a less gun, a bolter, the AOE damage is so nice because the enemies stack up. This is so amazing. Come to think about stacking up, I still remember in what was this? Uh, not was what was this? In Links of Liberty, Starcraft 2, the first one that came out, none of the add-ons, there was something called the Archon Vortex, which was so amazing. If you had a mothership, you could actually put out a spell on a enemy army which will suck every unit your own two into um, a black hole into a vortex and they vanish from the map and if you got in there some archon archons which had aoe damage and then you would suck in the enemy army put in a couple of archons and once they are again in real space the archons would just do their AOE damage that would stack up and kill the one, the enemy army so fast. This is actually so funny. Frustrating and but very funny actually. Okay, that was very bad of us. I've seen it and I didn't do anything. Okay. Switching now again to the other one here. Stared gone. Come on. It's gone. As well. Okay, down. As may maybe you are wondering, hey, why are you not collecting the chest in the back which we've seen there for the crafting ingredients? I didn't do that because there is a reason that you know I I am still since six weeks or seven weeks expecting the next content patch and there's going to be a character wipe. That's the first point, so I don't see any point anymore in collecting stuff there. And the other point is actually that we don't have really good... Well, actually, for our... No, again, why? Because I was talking. Um, for our... I didn't use that, I didn't craft for our leveled up character, but coming to think about it, for our brand new character here, it could be actually quite good to craft. I should take a look at that. Alright. That one is down. What I don't like that we are. Actually, very, you know, our suppression rating is quite down, which is not very nice. So going down. Let us get the suppression rating a little bit up, like so. 
That's where he would be. Okay, there we go. And then I shall bring those guys down. And here we can do an aim shot and the Eddy Sergeant. And he's quickly down. I still... I had one time a com uh, comment that it doesn't look good how the enemies explode. Honestly, I think that just looks really amazing in this game. How the enemies just, you know, exploding like watermelons. I like that. Alright, so... We are nearly through here. That is quite cool. I have never opened such a box before. I didn't even knew they were they were existing. That's a fun fact. So playing with a new character and you learn new things actually. Ah, this ability I don't. Maybe it's useful with the close combat assassin for example. I don't know which one, which of the assassins actually has this ability. And we are we need to be stationary at some point, so I think it is you know not as useful for us right here. Alright, that one's down. Bring down the bonus AOE at first. Because they are not good for our suppression. Do I need to? Yes, I need to reload. Then doing an aim shot here. Oh, that was only aimed, but. Yeah, down. We need to get in every room. I am sorry for that. Because we have to purge. That's actually one thing I don't particularly like about purchase. But, anyhow. Why do we need to be in any room? There could be enemies in here, which we then therefore have to kill. But if we would have gone in here, they wouldn't have spawned. But you never know that before. That is a sad thing here. Alright, they are down. Then, oh, only this little room remains. Nice. And we're bringing it. Oh, I thought it was. Put it right down it is. Then we can go into it right now. Let's put out our sniper rifle once more. And do some exploding shots here. Come on, shoot them. They need to be gone. Yes, I know. That actually is really nice. So, they are nearly, nearly, nearly gone. Oh, come on. They're gone. And they are as well. Nice. There we are. You serve the Emperor well, Inquisitor. Cheers. I do that gladly, of course. So we have a new less gun and a new sniper rifle, which is quite nice. Let's see what kind of equipment. Oh, a new rifle, that's nice. New equipment and hopefully upgraded equipment. Congre congre congratulations, you have reached the next level. Now the mutant, kill the mutant. Yes, we will do that. And another surprise here. Ooh, quite a lot of equipment, all right. And we have Directive completed, repacification, and because we have exterminated so many enemies. And that one is a huge damage increase. But I don't understand why that didn't upgrade our... Ah, anyhow. I don't get it. But that's just it. Alright, then being here, Autogon 2419. I don't want to have the shotgun, actually. This one we can... I won't equip because we would lose inoculator space and that one's an upgrade. Alright guys, that brings us to the end of this episode and I really thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please guys, give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day, stay frosty, bye.